each of us join Toastmasters so that we can reach our personal goals and learning to communicate with more confidence. But joining a new organization can be confusing and, and you wonder how you're going to navigate this and learn the new program. That is why Toastmasters assigns a mentor to help guide you through the maze of a new organization. When you learn the program and learn the competent communication, all the terminology that's involved, you gain more confidence and you want to participate more and you're more apt to jump in there and take a role and, and be part of the group instead of sitting back and just watching and you learn more quickly. A new mentor will sit down with you and ask you, what are your goals? And because they will guide you with how can Toastmasters help you meet that goal. They should also share how they benefited from Toastmaster. Me personally, I improved those fundamental communication skills. And then when I moved to the advanced manuals, that's where the learning really took off for me and was very helpful in my, in my employment, my day job. A mentor will also help you learn the customs, such as never leave the lectern unattended. And when a speaker be, is introduced, you clap, and when they leave, you clap. There's a lot of traditions that we have in Toastmasters. So they'll guide you through those customs and procedures. They should also take you to the club website, tell you how to read, sign up for goals, not just for that week, but for future weeks. So you know how to sign up for the roles and feel comfortable with that site. The other site the mentor should take you to, Toastmasters International. It is a wealth of information and a resource for every Toastmaster. The most underutilized website there is. Encourage you, check out the Toastmasters International. A mentor will also help guide you through the first three speeches. Once the mentor has helped you with this basic information, they're also going to share with you the different manuals that you get. The two manuals, first one is Competent Communicator, this is the fundamentals of communication, the body language, vocal variety. Encourage you to read through these, learn the projects, what you're going to learn, but also go to the back of the manual. This is the heart and soul of Toastmasters. It's going to share with you the leadership track, the communication track, what this all means, how to achieve each level, and then once you finish the competent communicator, then you go and can go to advanced manuals. Then your job requires you to do a lot of technical presentations. There's an advanced manual that will teach you technical presentations. Or your job requires you to do social events but you're shy, you're uncomfortable doing those events. Interpersonal communication manual will help you gain more confidence in going to those social events and shine and your supervisor will think, what happened to him? <laughs> so, encourage you, check out the entire experience of Toastmasters, the basic level and the advanced manual. The second track is the competent leadership most underutilized aspect of Toastmasters, in my opinion. Most people think of leadership as, oh, I don't want to be a supervisor, or I don't want to supervise anybody. The leadership manual is more about teaching you critical thinking skills, problem solving, listening skills, time management, facilitating a meeting, keeping it going and keeping it on time. That's one of the advantages of the leadership track for Toastmasters. Once you've become familiar with this, 
Now it's time to sign up for roles. I encourage people to sign up for roles in this kind of in this order. It's my opinion. Be a vote counter. No speaking roles, but you're actively involved in the meeting. Then do the invocation and pledge. A little bit of speaking, a little bit of leadership. Timer. Have your mentor sit with you when you do the timing role because it'll teach you how to do that timing and what it's all about. So when you give your first speech, you understand when the lights come on. Then do the educational minute. A little bit more speaking and not, not real challenging. Now the challenging roles, the grammarian. This one I found the hardest because I got so enthralled in the speaker, I forgot to count the ahs and ums. So I had to do that one several times before I could catch those. Then do table topics. Again, more speaking, getting up in front of people, gain a little bit more confidence. Now you're ready for general evaluator. What is your role? Have your mentor teach you what your role is as, as a general evaluator of the meeting. Then we go into more leadership, evaluating that speech and speaker. And now you're ready for Toastmaster. And you'll learn the total skills and putting everything together as Toastmaster. The, if you work with your mentor closely, it will be really helpful and beneficial because mentoring is the key to success for not only the mentors, but also the club. Mr. Toastmaster.